Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Semenuk and I'm an RTT hypnotherapist. In my channel, I'm talking everything about issues, mental problems, struggles, limiting beliefs from the point of view of your biggest part of your brain, subconscious mind. And it's time to touch upon the topic that is very important. Once you realize that you have limiting beliefs and you, for example, want to figure out what it is, and you started your healing journey, or you started to do the energy healing, doesn't matter, but you start to realize that there is something from the past that is holding you back. And it could be ancestral programs. So the programs from your parents or older generations that are so strong in your mind, and I'll explain why they are so strong, that they start to affect all areas of your life. Relationship, career, personal development, uh, money, you know, communication, friendships, um, your picture of the world, all comes from ancestral programs. And some people do have them, some people might not have them. It's very different for everyone. It will be different for every culture, it will be different for every religion, it will be different from, from the country you're coming from, right? So it's, it's different because every single family has their own programming. So what, what is ancestral program? Ancestral program is something, if you have that, uh, is something that your generations couldn't figure out. So why you are, for example, if you're watching this movie, this video, you want to understand something about yourself. You want the healing to happen, which means that if you do that, if you do the work and you change your beliefs, then you're going to um, give better beliefs, more positive beliefs to your generation, which means that that program will not work anymore for younger generations or for people who you will coach or teach, right? Doesn't matter. Or children. However, if it's something unresolved, if your parents couldn't resolve it, you will feel it. You will absolutely feel it. Doesn't matter if you, if you were growing up in an adopted family, you, then you're going to have programs from that family as well. And you will still hold the information from your older generations. So how, how to, how to understand ancestral programs and why do we still hold on them? When we are children, we understand things on a completely different level than what we do now. You now can filter and you can choose what to believe in, while children, they don't. They absorb every single thing they hear. They feel you. By the way, by the age of five, right, they scan you. They, they know what you want. They, like the, the children are listening to you so attentively and they are catching up. Uh, and they are absorbing and soaking all of those limiting beliefs. So when they, when the challenge comes their way or the problem that is, you know, not even every adult can deal with abuse, um, attack, mm, um, loneliness, you know, abandonment, whatever it is, child will understand it on a completely different level than when it happens to an adult because they, their mind is still not ready. They still doesn't have that information how to cope, how to manage that situation. Even us, we even adults don't always have know how to deal with situations. So it's like let's compare it to the um, how you are teaching the math to a toddler. You're teaching math, like a very complex math problems to a toddler of two. How do you think they will react? They will not know. And if you like push it on them then they will be confused and they will be in pain and suffering, right? Because they don't understand. Also, to understand ancestral program, the programming from our parents and generations, it's good to compare it to reading. Why? Why we still hold it, even if we are adults right now. And even if we have so much more information right now, we still hold that and we still react without knowing. Have you ever noticed when you react to some situations in the same way as your parents did? or you have beliefs about any area of your life that is the belief of your parents or coming out from there, right? So, of course, it's like reading. So, for example, if you learn reading, you learn reading with your logic, with your conscious mind. And then when it becomes very automatic by repetition, you are pushing it to the unconscious mind so that it becomes so easy for you, easy and effortless. You see the letters of the language that you know 
and you automatically retrieve the information. You get triggered, but in a good sense of way. Um, when we um, have a situation that triggers ancestral programs, it's the same. It's so fast, just like you start to read. That's why we react so fast to different situations. That's why when we are having arguments with our partners, uh, we might think, oh, they don't love me. Oh, they, they don't love me. They don't, they never understand me. Just like you did, this, this reaction, this belief will be the same as you experienced when you were a child. Or maybe you saw your mom or your dad react in the same way, or your caregiver. Because some people grew up in the foster care. Some people have adopted families. Some people, you know, grew up in a group palace, doesn't, doesn't matter. You are taken off all of those programs that are with you in a childhood. In order to understand ancestral programs, you need to know the rules. The rules of the generation, the rules of the ancestry. And I'll name three, the most important one. There are more of that, but it's like a, for more videos than just one 15 minutes video. So what happens? So the first rule of the ancestry is Every member of the family has the right for existence and for acceptance. What does that mean? It means that if any member of your family, your dad, your mom, your siblings, uh, or any other part of your family, maybe you have extended family, was pushed away, pushed out, isolated, cut out of the family because of addictions, uh, early mar marriage, uh, unwanted marriage, um, unaccepted marriage, or any other criminal record, right? So if they were pushed away and they were shut down and no one talked about them or talked about them negatively, uh, then of course, you have this, you will, it will be a nagging reminder for you as well. You will always remember that. And you need to, in your mind, of course, it doesn't mean that you have to accept that family, family who, a family member who has a criminal record and actually can harm other family members. You don't have to live with them or, or be nice to them. No, no, no. It's not about that. In your mind, you have to accept every single family of your member as a part of your history, which means to forgive, to understand why that person is in your family in your family history why they they play an important role by the way in your system in your family system people don't just become drug addicts criminal criminals no they they it's the it's a lot of reasons that lead to those Narcissist, by the way, right? So many times, uh, families cut out a narcissist, uh, um, ten people with narcissist tendencies. The same. We need to accept and to see what happened that we have that, that you have, or me, for example, if I do have those, um, those family members to forgive. So forgiveness. If you don't forgive, if you still hold any resentment, anger towards your um, parents or any family members, it's okay. It's your choice. However, there is always a price. And that price is your life, your joy, your well-being, your, um, you know, peace of mind, your limited, your belief system. So the price will be always. If you don't forgive, you don't have to forgive. You don't really owe anything to anyone. But if you don't, you need to understand that there is a price. And some people pay that price and they're ready to pay that price. I'm not going to forgive any of my family members because they're all like crazy. I, I don't want to do anything about that. You don't have to do anything with them. In your mind, you need to accept them. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to um, accept them into your circle of, of, of communication. No. But you need to, in your mind, to accept them and to forgive them. And then your peace of mind will come. Another, um, another rule of the ancestry is, the second one, is that uh, hierarchy in the family. What does that mean? That means that when we are uh, kids, when we are children, we are growing up, we, need, we have parents who are more important. Doesn't matter what they do. They have to figure out their life. They have to make the decisions. And in many cases, that doesn't happen. So there is a switch of roles. You know, so uh, kids start to parent their parents. They start to take care of them. So they have this, this, this feeling of responsibility of uh, dad in front of their parents. 
for a long, long time. So maybe, uh, you know, um, there are so many different situations that can happen when the, sw the roles are switched and then the child becomes the parent or uh, the parent becomes the sibling to a child. Right. So that's very important that there is a hierarchy and it's for a reason. Everything in this nature, in this world is for a reason. So, and it doesn't happen for people. For many people, uh, they are still feeling responsibility for their parents. They still feel like they want to prove something to them. By the way, ancestry program, if I want to prove, I want acceptance, I still want validation from my parents. This is an ancestral program where the hierarchy was uh, broken and you became, um, a, you, you took uh, on another role. Or for example, if kids um, all kind of support their their parents, the parents kind of manipulate their kids. I'm not saying that it happens in every. You will resonate with some sentences and some parts of this uh, video, right? With some of these videos, you won't resonate. And that's okay as well, right? But if you have anything that is holding you back, that is involving your ancestry tree, right? Ancestry certain generations, then you need to really work on that. Another is uh, the balance of giving and receiving. So ans the, if, if you have an ancestral program that is, um, lim that, that is unresolved, then you might have that um, imbalance, imbalance of giving and receiving. So you start to uh, give more than you receive. And it's okay until some point. When it's too much, what happens? You burn out. You start to lose yourself. You don't know who you are, right? You start to neglect your own needs to satisfy someone else's needs. If the hierarchy in the family was broken, right? When the, that balance of giving and receiving, um, how to understand uh, that? Usually when parents are raising their kids, they will accept them as they are. It's your choice or it's yours. You, you make decisions with this. Uh, so they're kind of like, supporting them, guiding them, but at the same time, they're seeing the limits. They're giving them enough freedom to make their own mistakes, experiences. Um, by the way, overprotective parents, overprotective parents also don't have that, uh, that balance. And the child with overprotective parents will also have some limiting beliefs, right? And will, might, might have struggles in life as well. So balance of giving and receiving. If, for example, your parents always demanded more from you, that's not enough. Uh, you, you need to try harder. You will do that in your life as well. I need to do better. Try harder. And it's not a bad thing because you will achieve a lot of great uh, goals. However, it will be a very, very high price for that because you won't be in the moment. There will never be enough right now. And the universe is like, well, if it's never enough for you, then why would I give you more? <laughs> right? So, uh, universe hears us and knows what we do. What to do in order to um, overcome ancestral programs? Working with your subconscious mind, finding that moment when you switched roles. Finding that moment that some of the family members were cut off, or maybe it was you. Maybe it was you. You were cut out of your family as like disgrace or as a, you know, disrespectful person. Doesn't matter. What happened, happened. We cannot change the past, but we are so, we love to, stuck, to be stuck in the past. We love to ruminate and overthink about the past. And um, this is just the, the function of our mind, the rule of our mind. Mind will always be stuck in the unresolved. Sometimes people say, why am I always thinking about the past? Why am I always thinking about my, my mistakes? Your mind will always focus on the unresolved. If the unresolved is your, for example, uh, you want to control everything. If you want to control everything, it means that in the future, you will always have that control issue, right? You will have that, you know, obsessive thoughts, which means that your mind will be in the future all the time, in the, which means anxiety, panic attack, worry. So if, you, if you're in the future, if you're in the past, there will be like sadness, regret, guilt, shame, all of those feelings, uh, because there is something unresolved. Resolve it, and then and ancestry programs are huge. I only name one, a couple of them, but there are so many of them. Relationship, 
sexual problems, by the way, also can come from ancestry programs. So, so resolving them is going to your subconscious mind or journaling about your past, writing down the moments where you switched roles, where you started to give more than receive, right? Or actually you saw your parents actually on, only wanting more from this world, greediness as well. If you see that, then you might notice some tendencies in your life as well. So I wish you all the best. Please start journaling, start working on your subconscious mind. In my course, by the way, I teach people how to separate, emotionally separate from parents, to find the connection to themselves. So if you're interested, it's like 15 classes plus three bonuses, working with kids, money blocks, separation from parents. You will be able to work through fears, phobias, stressful situations, grief, forgiveness, balancing your energies and so much more, right? And if you are interested, that will, that will access those classes, those practices will access your help you access your subconscious mind and do the work, the inner work. It's a self-paced course and the description is in below. So please, please, please read about it because if you're reading, the, if you're watching this movie, this uh, video, you definitely want to know more. You're definitely interested in what is holding you back. I wish you all the best. I love you. Please comment below. What programs are you noticing after yourself? What is the, the beliefs that you're still holding on? Or maybe the behaviors that you noticed uh, from your parents or from other generations. You know, I have, by the way, my generation had uh, money blocks. And it's coming not just from my parents. It's coming from earlier generations. So it's like a carried on unresolved, unresolved issue until someone figures it out and resolves it. So be healthy emotionally and physically. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.